Hello, children of the Dog Star. This is Jamie from randomizeuser.com with our latest Let's Play Savage Lands episode. So I wasn't actually going to do an episode until the next update landed, but there's a, like a three-week gap between updates this time. And there's a few things to talk about before then. Um, so, I will talk about um, uh, the kind of the, the new traps they've introduced into the game. Not the rabbit traps, although we will go back to those, but the, the, the more kind of like um, ones that you can hurt other people with, or other mobs. Hello, pig! Um, whose pig is this? Um, so, okay. This pig has been bothering me way too much. So, I'm going to set a little trap. Um, I'm going to make him pay for all the times he's just bothered me when I've been picking cotton. S God. Damn it. I'm just going to stand up here. So, let's set our first trap. I'm going to set a poison mushroom trap. I've got all the ingredients, so we'll just see how it works. Plop. And... Hey! <laughs> trap. And it's gone. It's gone! There. There's a trap in action. Uh, the other trap is the springboard... the spikeboard trap, which we'll just have a look at somewhere else. Right, lots of skellies over here. And Shattered Skull Reef here on Snowmere. Uh, this should be straightforward as well. Activate. And... Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Um, because I couldn't have just killed him in one bloody swipe of my sword. But shush, that's not qu uh, exactly the point we were going for here. Okay, returning to centre point here on Fraidlin, in the middle of the main island. Um, not much going on at the moment, a few deer hanging about. Uh, okay, so let's get deeper into the whole traps thing. Um, oh, I've actually left one here from earlier. Um, that's just sitting there. Um, if, if you actually walk over it yourself, by the way, um, nothing. Um, you're perfectly safe from your own traps. And this is here is a like a single player server. So I think you know, um, if you're on a player versus player server, um, if someone else trod on that, they would know about it. Uh, oh god, there's all sorts of stuff going on down there. Well, there's still an elemental or two um, with the Furies. I've never seen them in there before. However, we've got super defences these days and they cannot get in. Sort of. And there's a front door, but never mind. Okay, so before we go um, any further into those sorts of traps, the um, the aggressive ones, let's talk about rabbit traps again. Uh, I've, I've added a few more. Um, oh my god, that's not fair. That's not fair. Uh, oh, apparently stone elementals don't care about walls. Alright. <laughs> They're always surprising me, those fuckers. Um, anyway, yes, yeah, so let's look at these rabbit traps again. They no l they, they, they're no longer useless, um, because previously, I mean, we saw how expensive they were to build. Um, there we go, look. 25 wooden sticks, 8 sinew, and 1 strong sinew. Uh, and it was giving us rabbits that provided us with, well, no meat at all, really. It was horrible and bored. Well, it was shit, it didn't re restore any hunger. That's now changed. Um, also, another a bug fix has happened, so let's build a new one. And they no longer spawn with a rabbit already in them, which was silly and took us by surprise in the previous episode, or two episodes ago, whatever. Um, so the frequency between them catching rabbits is actually quite quick at the moment. So this is now an effective way of gathering meat, especially because they've changed hunger now. And this is the important part. Uh, mate. Mate. Mate! No. Oh. Ah! -ha. Yeah, they've changed hunger because there's a lot of complaints. Hunger bar was going down too fast, and a lot of meat, especially on the starter island, just wasn't providing any hunger, like your rabbits and your boars. That's been tweaked uh, because of user feedback. I think the hunger bar still goes down quite quickly. However, meat um, is now always carried between... restores between about 40 and 60 hunger. So, like, good old bear and cow meat, the good stuff, uh, restores 60. Boar meat, 40. And also rabbits, um, 40. So it's actually really good because... And remember previously, this was like 2.5 or something really absurd. However, to, to compensate for this, um, the, the other stats are kind of like, um, do differentiate amongst all the uh, animal types. Like the good stuff, your bears and your cows, provide a lot of warmth and health as well. Um, whereas um, deers and rabbits do not. I mean, this provides almost no warmth whatsoever. So there's still a reason to go for the better meats. Um, however, all those things will probably end up changing again. Have we actually got any rabbit meat? I've got so much bloody hell, yeah, I've got loads. And because I've been um, gathering stuff from these traps quite a lot. And yeah, you do get a lot now. So this is going to be um, um, a good way of farming meat. If you just want to, like, piss off from your base, come back, and you'll have loads of meat just waiting for you. It'll be rather splendid. Let's go down Trash Alley. Oh, the wooden... Oh! My God, I'm up in the air. 
Well, <laughs> turns out the um the trash bin is also a springboard, mate. Mate, bloody Formula One, bloody elemental over there. <laughs> right, going for a spin. Um, I've actually slightly tweaked this base since last time we saw it. By the way, I've had had to add a, f yeah, I've had to add a few more. Um, extra fences, like here, because it turns out keylets um, could just walk through the bloody rock. Um, which is something that we'll get onto, actually, because there's an important stuff to talk about in that respect. Uh, let's go up on the roof. Ugh. Right, yeah. Okay, we should get onto traps in a bit. Um, I'll just stand up here and just take in the air. Um, actually, I'd better pause, because I do really need to finish this cup of tea. Hang on. Okay, so let's properly talk about these traps now. They're still very much a work in progress, especially in the damage they do. And they might in future do damage through armour and stuff like that. And they're still, it's still very much being planned. Oh, there's also definitely going to be more types of trap as well. Oh, bloody... Is that the dragon? That is the dragon. I almost forgot about him. It's been ages since we did anything with that. Huh. And apparently um, the, the dragon sometimes, if you kill him... Um, if. Um, he drops a dragon heart which you can cook, and that gives you a hundred uh, um, hunger back, plus pretty much everything else. It's like a cure air potion plus. It's really rather cool. How did you do that? Fuck off! Bloody walls. Is this wall bloody made of fucking sand or something? Ugh. Oh, you prick! Well, I think in that case it actually used the door. Um, I've discovered that these skeletons can actually walk through here. So I think we should actually start setting traps for them, um, because that's what we're talking about. So let's, um, first of all, we'll actually have a look at exactly what you need. Um, fuck, where have they gone? Uh, I think it's on the stop fun page, there it is. So you need five Babo mushrooms, and you'll probably have collected loads of these if, you're, if you've ever really been trying to get potions. Uh, three cotton strips, or cloth shreds, um, three bits of rotten meat, and one sinew. So, quite straightforward drops. Rotting meat, probably... Oh, the bloody torch. The torch is gone. Get rid. Uh, those, um, th at the moment, there's a bug where torches do degrade, even if you haven't got them equipped. And that's going to be fixed for the next update, apparently. Uh, right, okay, let's just... Okay, let's, um, first of all, come to here. Um, we're going to lay a springboard trap. A spikeboard trap. I always call it a springboard trap. Um, but we do need... Um, six, pla six planks, four sticks, two nails, and one strong sinew. Uh, bags of nails. Uh, these are always a little bit of a faff, but it's still very much Starter Island stuff, because you do need tin for that. Hang on, pull up the right screen. Uh, we need tin ingots. So if you, go, if you go to the Starter Island and mine for coal and tin, um, make yourself a few of these. Once you've done that, you'll be able to make a bag of nails. Now, you do need a forge for this. Thankfully, I'm standing right next to one. Um, yep, so you need an atin ingot and a coal. So let's just add a few of those. I'm um, going into my inventory just there. Um, if you, By the way, if you, if you can see these these um, rows here, that's what you need um, for a mushroom trap, and this is what you need for a, a, sp um, a springboard trap or a spike board trap. Um, although, I've got, obviously, I've got too many ingredients, so quantities, whatever. Right, okay, so it's the, so the nails, a little bit of a faff to get, but still very much Starter Island stuff. Um, rotting meat there, I'm not quite sure if um, you can get rotting meat on the Starter Island. Um, hmm, possibly, I don't know. Um, anyway, so what we'll do is we'll try and find something to attack and lure it in. Hopefully a skeleton. Um, probably not Fury, because I'm approaching Fury Road, of course. Um, and, uh, uh, well, let's see what happens if you try to... Uh, wallop a fury with a springboard trap. Spike board trap! <laughs> Sorry. God damn it. Right. <clears throat> Come on, mate. Mate! Uh, make sure I get my um, both weapons equipped, because things could go south. Uh, 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 uh. Mate. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I've got a better idea. Keep forgetting you can do this. <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ha ha! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, ha ha! Yes! Oh, you can't run. Oh, you can't run backwards. Hang on. Right. It did a fractional bit of damage, but nothing at all, um, as you can see by the ow fludge. Uh, <laughs> fuck, bloody furies. Normally, I take these on with a shield. 
Um, but you can do it without. Um, you just got to be a, pay a bit more attention to the swings. Watch the tells of the enemy to see what swing is going to do next. So I go to the side there. Um, and, oh, that's, he just slashed me. Oh, I bloody hate that attack. Uh, it's on it. I'm going to abandon that. So you can see how much damage the trap does to him, which is not very much. But they're... But, I suppose it's pretty much the same damage as the Skelly, it's just the fact that the Fury has so many, so many hit points that it's just not really going to make much of a dent. Can he even get in? So he might be able to get in there. Or he might just be able to fucking ghost his way through that bloody wall. But let's just go up in the air. Um, oh, you can see my hunger's actually flown down. Um, I haven't actually got any... Oh, yeah, there we go. So, chomp, 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 chomp. This should restore 40. Um, not restoring much in the way of health or cold, though. So I'll probably need two bits of those. So let's do that. And that should restore me up to the top. Uh, okay. So seeing what the damage the spike button... Oh, look! It's happened already. Meat for days. Hup. 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 Oh, it's... Ugh! You... Uh. Ow! Dinkies, donkeys. Uh. Uh. Quick! There we go. Uh, is that pack of resurrection even bloody on? Just fuck off. Yes, it is. It's fine. It's fine. There it is. There it is. Let's run outside. Let's run outside the base. Um, no, it's over. Uh, <laughs> he can get through the door. Damn it. Damn it. Ah. Uh, miss me. No. Oh! Just kill him. Kill him now. Kill, kill, kill. And he's dropped. Uh, Bunch of the usual shit. Worn iron stuff. Ugh. I suppose I should actually heal. I've actually run out of frost ferns. There we go. Let's, let's use the good old trusty normal bandage. Ugh. Da. 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 Right, so we've seen the um, we've seen both kinds of trap in action now. God, the bloody pop-up still. Um, as I say, if I walk across either of these traps myself, it's all fine, though. Um, probably could do with warming up as well. Let's go inside the house and just spend a bit of time warming up. Okay, um, we'll we'll start talking about what happens, what's going to be happening in the next updates of Savage Lands in a bit. Um, but for the final thing about traps, I think we'll try and see if we can actually make them a bit more useful by laying multiple traps. So what I'm going to do is do a line of traps. Since I've already got one trap there, I'm going to already leave it. Um, but if I make a little line, I don't know how many, how much ingredients I've got left, but. I'm hoping to see how much, um, if I can get a fury really um, damaged by just using traps. Um, let's have a go. Let's, can I do another one? Um, let's actually look in my inventory before I do this. I don't want to only build half of one. Yeah, got plenty enough for that. All right, do that. And another one. Oh. I pressed the wrong thing. I also seem to have got rid of my bloody... What's the, what's the button to get rid of your... There we go. <laughs> H. Uh, right, okay, so put that down. Oh, god damn it. Right, so that's a line of four traps. I think I might actually be able to do yet another one, in fact. Um, hmm. And that. And surely, I think that's some... Yeah, I've, I've run out of rotting meat. I should be able to build one more plank trap. Um, there. Another one, maybe? No, we're not planks now. They require six planks. Okay, so we've got a nice long line of killer traps. Did I just... No, I didn't. I thought I might have accidentally somehow set one off. Right. Okay, so we need one more willing uh, fury victim. And we'll see if we can actually get him down to... Well, I'm guessing around... It's not... I don't think I can get it, get it down to half. But we'll have a go. See, it. It's just how much we can do. Mate! Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Just until recently, I forgot you could throw stones. Um, it's, I forgot how much fun it is. Right, okay, so we lead him round here. He's still following us. Yep, there we go. Right. Oh, he's swinging. Right, okay. Through here. Now let's reverse down here. Ha-ha! 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 Gotcha, you little prick. Oh, that took off about a third of his damage, which ain't much. <laughs> um, but he, against the... Oh, f yeah. Uh, I think I might have annoyed him. <laughs> uh, yeah. So night falls across centre point. 
Um, okay, so the final thing we're going to do in this episode is just have a bit of a, a, a an old ramble on about um, coming stuff, coming attractions, future shocks, things that are happening in about 19 days <laughs> or something. Uh, a time of filming. So in the next update, um, the game should actually update to Unity 5.3, um, which means that they can take advantage of a few new engine-related things and features and stuff like that, uh, whatever they are. Um, but more interestingly, I think, um, is that they're redoing the way that mobs navigate the landscape, which would mean all these little problems that we've seen should disappear. All the mobs teleporting and popping around, running into rocks, getting stuck in the ground, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't think much evidence of the um, teleporting mobs has actually really made it into these videos. Um, but if you do play it a lot, you'll know how annoying it is to have like an enemy you want to fight suddenly shoot backwards across the landscape, like they've been tied to a drag race car or something. Um, okay, it can be quite funny, um, but probably not after about the 50th bloody time that's happened. <laughs> um, according to the devs, um, something related that's changing to that. Um, currently, enemies spawn when you're close by. Sometimes. Can't see a fucking... Oh, there's, well, there's a deer anyway. <laughs> so currently they, they spawn when they're close by to you, and if you go away again, um, they will despawn. Um, in future they should be more persistent. There'll be a pool of enemies that can be reactivated and sent to sleep and stuff like that, if I understood um, the Twitch stream correctly. Um, really, the important thing here is that I don't want to actually see an enemy just, like, pop up, like, spawn right in front of me. Oh, indeed, like, um, in the near... In the, in the near distance. I mean, I mean, that sort of thing does break immersion quite a lot. I'm going to fight those elementals. Oh, it's gone! Case in point, there's an elemental there and it just vanished. Um, once you actually engage them, they don't seem to do this. But there we go. There's some. There's some. If you can see it in this darkness. There's some um, bloody teleporting, popping bloody mobs. Although he's, he's, um, he's just chilling now. He's, um, he's just hanging out. Oh, he's seen me. And he's gone. <laughs> yeah. So all this kind of all this mob popping stuff, things flying across the landscape, will then be um, will be fixed soon. It's something to do with like um, they're changing the the navigation mesh or something like that. Um, they're going the, these, the, they're going to be using the Unity one rather than a possibly a custom one. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, the thing is, I mean, this is um all this um the, the way that the enemies are programmed is pretty much a legacy of the old island. And I don't actually remember there being any of these problems on the old island. Um, but it just didn't seem to spawn. They just seemed to be there. Uh, and they certainly didn't, like, teleport across the landscape, like they're bloody drunk, like me. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so that's all future stuff. The next update is happening, well, it'll it'll happen when it happens. At the time of filming, it's, it's quite a while away, but I don't know when this episode's gonna, actually going to go out. Uh, whatever. So, yep, yeah, I'll, um, I'll definitely see you in the next episode, where a lot, there should be quite a lot of interesting stuff in the next update. Hopefully they'll, have, they'll also expand the lore. Bloody hell, more rabbits. Hmm. Hopefully they'll expand the lore a bit, because at the moment there's only about 14, 15 things all on the starter island. And I'd like to see some lore happening on Freydlin. That would be a lot of fun, I think. Okay, so hopefully there, there might even be some new mobs. Possibly. I'm not promising anything, because I don't actually know. But I think I heard that. Um, cool. Okay, so thanks for watching. This has been Jamie from RandomizedUser.com. Subscribe for more episodes of Savage Lands and other stuff like Starbound and The Long Dark and lots of other alpha games and stuff like that. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, hello. May. 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 There. <laughs> Slight anticlimax, but never mind.